Jackson EMC is proud to partner with NRECA International in helping developing countries get electricity to their more remote areas. Um, we've done this a number of times. Actually, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to go on a mission about 20 years ago to the Philippines. Uh, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, you get to see things that you don't normally see, um, especially in this operation in Bolivia where our guys were going to turn the lights on for the first time. It is, it is at the heart of the cooperative experience. Uh, we got together, uh, Jackson got together with uh, Cobb, Carroll, Flint, and Cowie to Fayette and put together a team of 11 linemen to go uh, to Bolivia and uh, to the Andes Mountains and put, build about, oh, I, think we, I think it was close to nine miles of line and hung some transformers to power up two villages. It was a little bit difficult in the challenges because the uh, very high altitude is between 13 to 14,000 feet above sea level. You walk 10, 15 foot and you're trying to catch your breath. So making it, trying to climb a pole made it even harder. And if you've never been in that, I mean, you try to walk 50 foot and, and you're just out of breath. I mean, you can't. And everything was walking pole to pole, so it was real hard terrain, real mountainous country. It was a lot hotter than I expected it to be. The altitude was, uh, it kind of it tapered off about four or five days into it, kind of started getting used to it, was able to do a little bit more. But to begin with, we thought we had a, a job we weren't going to be able to handle. <laughs> you put 11 linemen that's been doing this together. Everybody has a different way of doing things, so it was a little hectic the first day. We all pulled together, and after a couple of days, we overcame some obstacles, and we're able to work together and stay focused on the mission. Yeah, I was I was really impressed. I mean, you get a you get a group of linemen that's never ever worked with each other at all, you know, and then we come together and we build that much line. I mean, that that is really something else. Uh, everybody knew the job that had to be done, and everybody worked together and got it done. Their way of uh, uh, building lines is a lot different than what we do. You know, they're they're kind of in the old way. We're kind of newer technology and all, and they're not they're not used to that. So we had to step back in time, really. A lot, of the, uh, a lot of our modern tools and equipment that we use, we didn't have down there, uh, especially the bucket trucks, so it was all climbing. But it, it was primitive work, you know, it was back to the roots of line work. You know, that, that we didn't have enough tools to go around, and we definitely didn't have the tools that we have here at Jackson. Everything was, was by hand. You had to kind of figure things out, you know, how to do things that we're used to doing with top of the line equipment. Yes, local villagers uh, were uh, very happy to see us. They had, they had been fighting for many years to get power up to their villages, and uh, they were they were very excited, and uh, they were also very willing to jump in and help. Yes, the local people helped us pull out wire. They helped us whatever we needed. I mean, they were all there for any anything you know, support-wise, and and very friendly and easy to get along with. They were very grateful. They helped us the whole time they were there. You could tell they were eager to get the lights on. They were they were trying to show up with the crews and help. Uh, with anything that they could help with. One of the strongest memories I have is of a woman carrying about a two-year-old maybe on her back and pulling wire up the side of a mountain uh, that we were breathing hard just to walk up. There was one gentleman, he was a 72-year-old man and uh, he lived up there all of his life farming and he worked circles around everybody. He ran up and down the mountain. He was so excited to work with us and to, uh, and to do whatever we needed as far as help goes. And everywhere he went, he ran. The whole experience is very humbling to see how they lived without power. Uh, little, very little huts, no floors. Their beds were made of, you know, grass uh, laying on a dirt floor. It's, uh, is this gonna change their lives? We was there when the lights come on. I mean, everybody cheered and was happy, you know, and I mean, they've been waiting for that for 10 years. So, so to see a light bulb come on, in the house was a real you know, accomplishment for us and for them. So when the project was over with, they had a little ceremony. They gave us, uh, they gave everybody a lay of flowers and uh, they sprinkled confetti over our heads. They, and traditionally for them, that means abundance. So they did that and they gave us all the uh, alpaca toboggans. It felt good to be part of a company that makes a difference. And uh, it, was, it was a very interesting experience. Uh, learned, learned a lot, of course, about their culture about other people. And uh, the one thing I thought was really neat about the whole project was the reason the REA was founded was to bring light to the farming communities of America that didn't have them before. And that's basically what we did down there. We took 
power to the farming communities that had not had power. No, I'll never forget it. it. It was a great time. I got to see a lot of different culture and a lot of people um, in need. What we did getting that power to those villages is really going to make a difference in those people's lives. You know, they're going to be able to improve their communities and grow and and be successful. I think it was a it was a great privilege that Jackson EMC let us let us go over there to do this. And but I think in in a lot of ways, I mean, it shows how much Jackson cares about you know outside community and to be able to help people that's less fortunate than us. I mean, it was, it was a, I couldn't ask for nothing better. It was hard work, it was really, really hard work, but it was re really rewarding too. I mean, when you see folks coming from nothing, no electricity, no nothing, and then all of a sudden they get one light bulb, and that's all they want, that's it. We're very proud of the work that our guys did in Bolivia in really challenging conditions, uh, you know, up in the mountains where they normally don't work in those types of altitudes. We do think that, we're convinced that that work is going to make a significant difference in the lives of the people, these two villages that they brought electricity to. I'd say if you were looking for a job like this to go on a trip, I'd say uh, lose a few pounds, sharpen your hooks, and be ready to work.